death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. Let me explain! These patrols are after me! No! No! Don't shoot! This is a nightmare! I need to get out of here! This can't be happening. Over there! No, please, stop! I mean you no harm. Oh. 
What's going on? Oh, Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? Shit, where'd it go? Now, I can defend myself. Kill the thing! Over there! Who are you? Stay back! Sorry, but you left me no choice. Who are you? Stupid beast! Let's see how it likes a bit of fun! Sorry! Please, stop! I'll take you dead! Who are you? Christ! What do you want? I mean you no harm. I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech! <laughs> Please, listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! ah what in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me. The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. I need to find somewhere to hide. Let me go! I need to find shelter. It's locked. Is anybody there? This seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. I can almost feel the sun's rays like a physical weight pressing against the wood. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pete in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve.
dreams for the Red Queen that sleeps under crown of stone, that she might linger longer, her eyes as white as a rose. Who goes there? Who's there? Are you referring to me? <laughs> no! No! I still have so much to accomplish! I still have so much left that needs doing. This one's lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. No, it never got easy. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. So be it. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blinding sunlight into a glowing flesh.
in my head. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Where is it? It's closed. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here's the leech. Here! My head's spinning. Oi! Come on, you coward! I cannot enter. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. I have this thirst for blood. It's locked, all right. Dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. I can't believe I'm doing this. What will London have to say to me? I have so many questions unanswered. Another corpse? Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. 
I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. Where has everyone gone? Sir, you look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. <coughs> Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well-dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have... Questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir... Uh, yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. There's gotta be... Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. Blamed a sewer dog, eh? I'll leave you to your bottle then. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I'll best check on them. I'll leave then. Thank you. Place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require. Shh. 
I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? Hmm. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. Who are you? I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. With anyone. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. And who might you be? Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them, biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I've no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. Then help me find the culprit. I may, if you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail, the scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We're both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I'll end him. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. I think drink no longer stirs me. Are they stupid or something? I've never even been to India. 
Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. What happened tonight? He was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. How was he tonight? Was he different? Sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him, and how he'd like to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. What's this? Some sort of note. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge.
Says a blood suck is dug in here. You've got one job, and that's the fight. It's locked, all right. Fair enough, Tom. But why do they hide where it's so damn cold? Watch yourself! He's one of them! Over there! There's one of them! Fibble. 